Still getting used to this cannon. Tell you what though, this little EOS M3 is uh, really nice. It makes for a great, uh, great lightweight run and gun camera unit for vlogging especially, but I've also been using it for some still shots. And man, this, uh, this little guy does a great job. Really good uh, camera if you're just gonna be doing like a little single camera, small backpack rig. And as you can see, it gets a little bit blazed out here. Let's see if I can darken it up. Perfect, beautiful day on the lake today. Check this out. Just absolutely gorgeous. Finley Point, right over here. Skidoo Bay, right here. This right here is the bay that I did my ice kayaking in. A little bit different this time of year, I'd say, huh? I talked to you guys about the transition we're going through in quadricopter, and um, I'm very excited about it. This is something that, that takes us and, and broadens our horizons and allows us to provide a service for companies looking to have a management-based aerial inspection system in place for them to do everything from from monitor gas leaks to visually inspecting bridges as I showed you in the last vlog all the way up to you know counting heads of cattle on on ranches to inspecting railways it, it really is unbelievable and the evolution is here I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you it is here let's go right now to Jeff and Adele they're up in Whitefish and they're filming the new Wind 8 They've got a methane detector on the Wind 8, and they're gonna explain a little bit how not only does the Wind 8 fly, they're gonna explain a little bit about that, the whole drone setup and, and how that works. And then Chris is up there with them. He's gonna explain a little bit and show you a little bit on how the uh, methane drone flies. And him and Adele are actually getting ready to go down to Wyoming and deliver this Wind 8 and methane drone to an organization that's gonna be using that to detect methane and natural gas. Once again, perfect example of, of a service drone there for, for industrial use. Here we go, let's go see Jeff and Adele. Hi Bryce, this is Adele with Quadricopter. And this is Jeff with Quadricopter. And we're looking at the DJI Wind 8 series. In front of you, this is a methane gas detector system set up and customized by us at Quadricopter. Jeff, tell us a little bit about um, how it flies. Well, I'll tell you what, I haven't even flown it yet, so this is going to be the first flight. So we're going to start the motors. So they start one at a time, which is kind of clever. So that's six, seven, and now eight is turning. So anyway, we're just going to take off here. So right now it's running on 12S batteries and super light payload, so it pretty much just jumps right off. Not a whole lot of effort. Pretty quiet, in fact. So yeah, I would say it's pretty much like a, kind of like a sluggish Inspire. Chris flew it the other day. He said it felt like a M200. So if you're familiar with the 200 and 210s, this is pretty much it. Doing well. I'm just going to come in and land it now. All right, we're gonna call it good right there. All right, and once again with the, or the DJI products, just bring the stick all the way down and the motors will shut off. All right, we're back talking to Bryce about uh, the sensor below the wind date and Chris is going to uh, have the laser detect the methane gas. Yep, so my right hand here is a bottle of methane um, or natural gas and uh, the sensor can detect up to about 150 meters away, up to uh, five parts per million, or as low as five parts per million from 150 meters away. Right now I've got it set to alarm at anything higher than four parts per million, so hardly any. And so I'm gonna aim the bottle of methane in front of the sensor here, in front of its crosshairs. It also emits a laser that can be used as a, as a frame of reference. So as I'm holding it in front of the sensor, the app is alarming. It's making a bunch of alarming noise at me. And the bottom left uh, indicator is flashing uh, red, telling me that I'm about 500 parts per million. If I pull the container away, it goes back to zero. 
Thank you guys, that was a great presentation. Later that week, Chris and Adele drove down to Wyoming and successfully delivered the methane drum. Chris was able to sit with the new clients and educate them on how the drone actually worked, what the sensor was reading, and how to properly fly it with this new sensor on the aircraft. This aircraft sensor combination is not only something that we supply for the consumer at Quadrocopter, but it's also a service we provide at Quadrocopter. If you liked my video, don't forget to subscribe and like, and stay tuned to my next vlog. I'm going to be going into much more depth about what Quadrocopter is going to be offering. Remember, Supporting me as always is Quadricopter, a professional's choice.